Vicky and I are definitely both readers, and um, we've written fan mail. I've written, I've bothered Kurt Vonnegut so much. Yes. Now, now, we've heard that you've yeah. gotten thousands of fan letters a week sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the weirdest fan mail you've received? One of the weirdest or funniest ones? Well, I've gotten a lot of weird. I've, some of it is hilarious. <laughs> some of it is tragic. We've gotten horrible, sad letters, too, from kids. My favorite letter, here, I think the weirdest one was from a girl early on who was, read one of my teen novels when I was doing YA stuff. And she said, Dear R.L. Stein, I loved your book, The Babysitter. The same thing happened to me, only it was my uncle who tried to kill me. Keep up the good work. I really enjoy your books. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that was pretty strange. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> that's kind of sad, too. Yeah, to, yeah, that was pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> she notified her teacher and said, is this for real? Maybe you should look into this. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever find out if she was... No, I never heard back. Uh. That was a very strange letter. My favorite letter, my all-time favorite letter, was from a boy who wrote, Dear R.L. Stein, I've read 40 of your books, and I think they're really boring. <laughs> 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 Isn't that, isn't that perfect? That's great. I should be saved and framed. Oh, I saved. <laughs> That's excellent. At one point, I was getting 2,000 letters a week. Oh, it was no. amazing. My mailman hated me. <laughs> he was just one day, he took a big canvas mailbag and just threw it in the apartment. <laughs> you turn the bag when you're finished. <laughs> it was so much mail. Oh, wow. Did you answer it? Right? Uh, like, did you answer well, I could, mail? Or? In the early days, I could answer it when it was 2,000. I always think every kid deserves an answer because it's hard for kids to write letters. Yeah. It's not easy. So we make sure everyone gets an answer. I answer every piece of mail. And at one point I had a staff of five people answering the mail. Oh, that's great. And I tried to read as much of it as I could, but it was just too overwhelming. Yeah, it would be hard to try to write and answer mail. <laughs> yes, it would be like Same. a full-time job. <laughs>